Creativity is my study. You have to be. You have to learn how to communicate with something that is always sometimes too far out there for anyone to understand. But yet you're close enough to say, so what gives? Unplugged because we will always say yes to creativity, totally uncut, because we all make mistakes. So turn it into a tool. This is Arrow Unplugged. My mom used to say it, and I'm sure a lot of my teachers did too, because I picked it up somewhere. I didn't just fall into my heart. People that go, my goodness, my goodness, which is usually just, you know, an expression when things are either like good or sometimes like, wow, I'm shocked. My goodness, my goodness goodness little babies that are screaming in grocery stores it's like "Mm, baby my goodness you know i i look at things like that when we say my goodness and and it's like why are we making it about us our goodness our greatness before i went into the essential job yesterday i have a conversation with my sister every day It's, it's i i don't know why it's just the way that we do things now we, we, we talk every day. And, and before I hang up, she always says, love you, see you later. So I get that little I love you bef- before I go in. But yesterday she goes, are you going to have a good day before I went into the essential job? And very, very strongly I said, no, I'm going to have a great day. And you know, that affected me. That affected me. That put me in a positive state of mind. I said, great She said, good. This is what my master in in martial arts used to tell me. You know what the difference is between good and great? And we'd go, what? And you go, about this much. Have a great day. Have a brilliant day. Have a fantastic day. Live up to it. Hey, it's Arrow. This is the Daily Mass, a chronological walkthrough in everyday world. I am a daily writer. I I, I think of things like this. Little things. My goodness. What does it mean? What does it come from? Why does it have to be my goodness, our goodness? And then you talk about it. You put it out there in conversation form. It's not about war. It's about communicating, sharing each other's emotions, being a human to a human. This is The Daily Mess. And we're going to talk about one of those human-to-human things today. (laughs) Oh, God. I am going to upset some people. I know I am. What is it with emails? Some mornings, we wake up to 15 or 30 messages just banging on our heart. And then you have moments where you've got nothing for several hours. So much of our lives are positioned around emails and text messaging. I have a serious problem with those who rarely, if ever, respond to my emails or text messages. The reasons for their silence is the typical, oh, I've been slammed. Oh, sorry, I was going to get around to that. I just wanted to come up with a really good answer. I do all I can to answer every single letter that comes in my direction. And the way that I do that is that I, I know what my time management is all about. I've got to keep moving forward, but at least I reply. People that receive emails from me usually get words like, perfect, perfect meaning I've received your letter. Perfect. It's, it says, hey, I don't have any questions, but if I do, I'll get back to you. Perfect. It means I agree with your request. Another word that I'm very used to using is cool. Again, in an email response that clearly states, hey, I'm on board. I don't need to write a book when I get an email or a text message, but it does let people know, oh, he's still connected. Brevity is my go-to because I really don't like receiving long emails. So in a way, I'm just trying to teach other people. You don't need to have a dictionary sitting next to you or a thesaurus. Just say, perfect or cool. I'm Arrow, and that's The Daily Mess.